This is one of the most exciting of conjoined twins. It's a type known as Cephalothoracoiliopagus, Cephalo head, thoracothorax, ilio intestine, pagus, the whole lot joined together. They are Janus faced twins. Two faces looking away from each other. That's weird. But what's really weird is that each face is a composite. Each face is made of half of the face of twin one glued to half the face of twin two. And this tells us something beautiful and important about embryos. Two organizers working on a single embryo may be a neatly plausible explanation of conjoined twins, of how to get two embryos out of one, but it has nothing to do with their most important feature, the fact that they are glued together. Nor does it explain why the join is always between the same parts of the two bodies, head to head, waist to waist, chest to chest. Conjoinedness enthralled Geoffroy. To explain it, he proposed a law, the law of affinity of like for like. He believed that as embryos form, cells use a sort of biological magnetism to identify and link with their own kind. Geoffroy hadn't actually seen embryos doing this. He just inferred it must happen this way. And he was, in essence, right. Geoffroy's law, although vague, was the first scientific explanation of connectedness. Recently, we've learnt a lot about this. It's not caused by some vague form of attraction, but rather by cell adhesion molecules, the Velcro of the body. They ensure that the millions of cells in an embryo sort themselves out correctly. Each kind of cell has a unique set of them, which enables it to attach to similar cells and those alone. The problem arises when a twin gets in the way. If that happens, the cells of the two embryos stick to each other and can become hopelessly intertwined. 